Just how good an insulator is air? In this laboratory, we're going to apply a very high voltage between these two conductors, set about 30 centimetres apart. We're measuring the voltage in kilovolts. 50 kilovolts, and so far, the air still behaves as an insulator. Now the air's become a conductor, the voltage about 180 kilovolts. So air only insulates under a certain set of conditions. Let's repeat the experiment, but this time we'll put a rectangular strip of perspex in the gap. Now watch the surface of the perspex. That was where the air first became conducting, and it happened at 150 kilovolts, lower than before. Because of this, high voltage insulators, like the one we're making here, are usually shaped in a special way. The shape is designed to increase the distance over the surface of the insulator from one end to the other. This reduces the risk of air in contact with the insulator from becoming conducting. On overhead transmission lines, a whole chain of specially shaped insulators are joined together, giving a zigzag surface path. 